Welcome back to the course guys. So in this video we're going to take a look at how we can create a Wix website. So we're going to go through the whole design process. We're going to have three products to sell. So we're going to use three um, options on the website. You'll be able to click on each of the options and then it'll take you through to the product description page with an add to cart button and you'll be able to add it to the cart and you'll also be able to view the cart as well so we'll have a view cart button on the website and an add to cart so people will be able to purchase through the website so the first thing we want to do is I've created three products so product one product two and product three these are basically what we're going to be selling so it's just an image to show you guys with product one dot text there's nothing in this this is literally just to show you guys that it's the three different products this is product two and then we've got product three so the reason I put the text file in there is so that when we test it we can see that it is product one product two and product three because the image is exactly the same so all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a zip archive and call this product one I'm going to copy and paste copy and paste rename this one product 2 and then obviously product 3 oh, let me just change the spelling now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this into product 1 drag this into product 2 and then drag this into product 3 now these are basically what we'll be uploading so that when someone makes a purchase we will send them this zip archive they can open it and it'll have the product one for them to download and use obviously when you're selling a product you're gonna have actual products in here like maybe if you're selling an album you'd have all your songs in here for them to download and listen to so now that we've got our three products let's go over to Wix and we'll create a website so what you do is you click create new site over here um, on the main page and it will take you to this page just select uh, online store uh, choose a template and then just select blank templates start from scratch and click edit so once it goes through we have a completely blank Wix website so let's just clear up the uh, UI for now so close this off minimize the code and then yeah this is fine we're just going to drag it over a bit now if you go to add on the left hand side and we go to let's have a look we've got image now let's go with let's go with gallery so actually strip we're going to go with a strip because this this will look really good so we want just a strip with a picture on like this so if we select this one just click it and then resize it. So I'm going to bring this down a bit and up a bit like that. And then I'm going to select it and choose change strip background. So if we go to image, now the product I'm selling is a picture of a samurai. So I'm going to put a picture of Japan as the background. See if Wix has got a good picture. Let's go with this will work so we'll put this one into the strip and then let's just drag it down a bit now your brand I'm just gonna delete this for now and also delete the read more button so now we've got a strip here we can also add in a menu at the top so if we go to menu and we want to add just a simple menu like this and drag this up now we've only got the home page so it's only going to have one button but if we click on design we can just change the color so if we go to text make sure it's black and then there should be an option for when it's selected here we are hover so as you can see it's green we don't want it to be green I'd, I'd prefer it to be black or red so we'll put that as black click I'm going to also put that as black you can change this any way you want so got that in the middle 
So now we've got a basic, simple setup. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Add, and I'm just going to go to um, Container or let's have a look. Box, box could work. Um, we'll put this here, yeah, Container Box. There we are. And I'm just going to select this one, drag it up. I'm going to change this to white. Now we need to go to add, select text, and then choose our size. So I'm going to go with, let's go with big title, put it here, edit text, and let's just call this like the company name. So I'm going to call this Samurai photo so make this a bit bigger and then I'm gonna realign this to the center and then maybe put a line underneath just to make it look a bit cleaner so if we go to shape and then click this line, put that under. I'm just going to drag this up and I'm going to copy and paste this control C control V. And then I'm just going to put by Lee. I'm just going to drag this in a bit. make sure this is central so now if you click preview in the top right hand corner you can see what the site's going to be like so this is the basic design of the site at the moment as you can see it's very basic but gets the job done so let's um, let's create the store part so now that we've got the top banner we want a section where people can click on the products so if I go to add and choose gallery and then the, we want to choose one of these galleries so probably for what we were looking for this one would be best so if I drag this right down to the bottom and click on change images I'm just going to delete the pre set images now these three are the ones I'm going to change so I'm going to click replace image upload upload from computer and if I go to the desktop, my digital files, product one, and just select that image. Now that that's uploaded, I'm just going to choose that. And I'm also going to replace this one with the exact same image for now. And image 3 as well. So for now we've got three of the same. I'm just going to edit this so it looks a bit nicer. So if we go to settings, let's try fit. Yeah. Let's go to layout, column, space and space it out a bit. Yep. Then design, if you go and customize design, we can change the way it looks. Okay, I'm quite happy with that one. Now if we select change images, now the title text is what I'm going to change. So put this as product one. Samurai image and then the next one will be product 2 let's just copy and paste that one now for, for now link we, we haven't set up our eJunkie account yet so 
in the next video we'll be going through adding a link to the eJunkie page and setting up the eJunkie products. So if we go on here and go product 3, okay so I'm just going to click done. Now I want it to kind of say product 1, product 2 and product 3 because I think that would look nicer. I'm also going to copy and paste this and drag it down and just edit this and put store. So we bring this down we've then got the three options of what you can purchase. Now if I can edit this I'm going to try and put there we are, product 1, product 2 and product 3. I'm just going to drag that up so it doesn't interfere with our selection boxes. Now what we want to do is preferably we want on the next video we're going to set up a page for each of these products and then set integrate it with eJunkie. So we'll be doing that in the next following video. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.